Hello there, and thank you so kindly for tuning in to Brown Eyes on this beautiful, amazing, wonderful day. Because remember, so as a man thinketh in his heart, then so is he. We are to think about things that bring us a good report. We are to speak things that are not as though they were already. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you for taking this spiritual journey with brown eyes. Thank you for helping this channel to grow because I cannot do it without the subscribers, without the support of you viewers. I thank you so much. You guys are so awesome and you totally, totally rock. Thank you. Uh, so today we're going to pull off the energy of each zodiac sign. Um, we're going to be doing... Uh, because tomorrow I'm going to be doing the weekend edition of the Divine Masculine's Energy. But today I'm led to do each Zodiac sign. I'm probably going to break each one of them and do three in each segment, like all of the water in one, all of fire, earth, you know, uh, uh, air. Each, a video of threes, in other words. So to get more of them out quicker. So, but I'm going to be doing these Zodiac signs. Um, I'm doing the Zodiac signs versus their um, divine partner in separation. So starting the reading, of, the reading off, of course, with Scorpio. So I'm going to be doing this first reading about Scorpio and her divine partner, her divine uh, masculine or divine feminine. Uh, you know your situation. This is a general, uh, but it's in separation, you know, because I always, you know, I always do the divine masculine. I did some divine feminines, but know your, you know, you know your, your birth chart and all those things. So uh, depending on who you are, you know, depending on your birth chart and your sign, you'll know uh, if this one is for you. So I'm starting this one off with Scorpio. So universal energy of light and love. And of course, did I tell you, this is a general, it's not a personal. Please don't take it as, uh, you know, and everyone has their free will you can uh, enforce and utilize. That's the beautiful thing about the universe. Uh, yeah, true enough, the universe sits scenarios out there and puts scenes in our plates, in our face, but Ultimately, we have free will, and that's the thing that makes it so hard because we're in war constantly with our spiritual man and our fleshly man. So uh, universal energy, we're calling on the energy of uh, the zodiac sign of Scorpio in their divine partnership or their divine uh, soulmate or twin flame relationship in separation. Calling on the energy of Scorpio and their divine mate in separation. For there is nothing too hidden that will not be revealed. Show us the card for our highest good. All right, y'all. So, Scorpio. Now, what I'm trying to find out is how, Scorpio, your partner, how does your partner feel about you? Your divine partner feel about you in this time of separation? Uh, so far, we have the thinking woman. Yes, this could be male or female. We don't know, but we're going to about to find out. Let me get one more card for Scorpio's partner or divine partner uh, in separation. What is that person's energy towards Scorpio in this time of celebration? Excuse me. <laughs> so, uh -uh. They must be thinking about celebrating Scorpio, but in this time of separation, can we get one more card for the overall energy of the partner of Scorpio's, Scorpio's divine partner in separation? And we have... Fourth chakra archangel Raphael. So you got two cards here. Think the thinking woman and the fourth chakra archangel Raphael. So, yep, I'm about to read it again, y'all. Come on. You know how this works. Don't don't know them all by heart, but I guess if I get them enough, I will. So, but right now we're about to just breeze through it and get an overall. Okay, so the fourth chakra archangel Raphael uh, is in reference to love, compassion, and self-acceptance. So Scorpio, your partner is dealing with some type of uh, self-acceptance or being able to uh, show their love and compassion. And the universe is, is sending them supernatural strength. That's why you have the archangel. Everything that you're dealing with externally, you have a spiritual guide to help you and assist you in this. So the universe is sending your partner, your soulmate, this supernatural strength to align their love uh, so, cause they, they need to love themselves, but we're going to clarify it. And the thinking woman, Scorpio, if you're a female watcher, or this could be you, or it could be your partner. Uh, you know, and we're not talking about gender. It's not male or female specific. We're talking about energy. Energy can be whomever or whatever. So someone in this situation dealing with you, Scorpio is thinking, thinking, thinking. They're like introspective. They're really thinking and they're very intelligent too, because this is a beautiful person. They look, you know, they're not just smart, but they look smart. They're, they're not just a pretty face. They're intelligent as well. So, uh, let's clarify this thinking woman. 
for Scorpio's partner, divine partner in separation. Clarify the thinking woman. We have six of swords. So uh, someone is moving towards common waters. Maybe someone wants to move towards you, Scorpio. They're thinking heavily about moving towards a safer place. And uh, let, let's get some more energy for the thinking woman. Three of wands, because they, they're they waiting and they, they see victory and they see success and they've been waiting for this. So either someone, the, um, your, your partner, your partner, Scorpio, your divine partner is, is, in, is in hermit mode because they're thinking, but they're thinking about moving towards calmer waters because they're waiting for some type of success to be, to, to manifest. Uh, they're waiting for their ships to come in. And so, uh, they're thinking about this. Let me clarify these cards right quick so we can get a better understanding. Let's dig a little deeper. Let's get down to the nitty of the gritty. Okay. So let's clarify this, um, six of swords for Scorpio's divine partner in separation. Clarify six of swords. Six of swords, you got the two of wands, something new. So it seems like whoever your, your person is, is thinking about embarking on a new journey, but they have to, they have to, they have to get out of the negativity first. They're moving towards common waters, but in the process of moving towards common water, they're moving to a new objective, a new goal, a new totally adventure, a new perspective. Uh, can I get another clarifying card for six of swords? So they've really been thinking five of cups because, um, they want, they don't want to, um, they're because they're feeling regretful and hurt. They're hurt about something. And I think it's because you remember, we also have this fourth chakra archangel Raphael, where, um, the universe having to teach your divine partner, uh, have to, how to self accept themselves, how to love themselves. Because we know a lot of people divine, or I think everyone is divine as having tremendous, uh, childhood issues, abandonment issues here. So your person is having to love themselves and accept themselves now. So they're feeling remorseful. They're feeling sad. They're, 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 they're feeling, they're feeling bad about all of the times that they have neglected to acknowledge and appreciate love. But little do they know the universe is still trying to offer them love if they just pay attention. So clarify this three of wands, uh -uh. justice. So it could be either someone that you're dealing with, your divine partner, Scorpio could be waiting for something in the legal system because the justice could represent balance. It could represent the justice system, literal justice system, because you have the three of wands. So you're waiting for something. You're waiting for something. You're waiting for your shifts to come in. Uh, you're waiting for some, something to happen in your favor. And just as you could, your, your uh, divine partner in, in uh, separation, <laughs> the deparation, Lord, and separation could be waiting for something to take place in their life before they can move towards calmer water towards you at this time, Scorpio, because, uh, seems like if they, if they ended something here, if they were waiting for something in the justice system, they're crying over something that, that, uh, ended in their past. So they're, they're trying to uh, heal themselves, but they're trying to move towards common waters in order to do that. But this is what they're thinking about. Uh, clarify the fourth chakra archangel Raphael for uh, Scorpio's divine partner in separation. Remember, fourth chakra archangel Raphael is dealing with love, acceptance, uh, self-love, acceptance here, uh, compassion, love, love. So this person needs to love themselves. Judgment. Wow, uh, Scorpio, your partner could be under divine judgment, or this could be part karma for your partner in separation here. Can we get another card for fourth chakra archangel Raphael? And judgment also represents healing. It represents resurrection, rebirth, uh, uh, rising from the ashes, so to speak. So, uh, but it also means judgment. Judgment also is from your, your actions, the things that you have planted out in the universe, whether you meant them or not. It's that every action has a reaction to it. You, everything you do will be judged. Everything you say will be judged. So it, it may be that your, your divine partner in separation is under some type of judgment. Can we get one more card? Nine of Pentacles. So maybe he's, uh, maybe your divine partner in separation, Scorpio, is uh, under divine judgment because of his lifestyle. Maybe he was, um, he was single, or m maybe he's made single. But if he's made single with the Nine of Pentacles, he's still gonna be sitting pretty. But I think he's being judged based on this lifestyle. He probably. 
He probably carried himself as if he had everything going on in this world except a partner. And I believe he had a partner in here because um, he's a thinking man and the universe is trying to talk to him about love. So let me clarify these real Let me see. Let, let me clarify this uh, nine of pentacles real quick so we can move on to cancer. Now, this is what your, your divine partner is thinking about you in separation, or these are his thoughts associated with you, a uh, Scorpio, during separation. Okay, so nine of pentacles, we have the three of cups. So your divine, your divine partner in uh, separation is under divine judgment because he always presented himself as a single available person when in actuality all he was out was just to play and have a good time. That's all. And I think he scarred a lot of people because of it. So that's the only way this, your divine partner is really going to be divine is if they come under judgment and learn their lesson. So Scorpio, this is your reading. So let's move right along to, um, cancer. Let's pull on the energy of cancer and their divine partner in separation. Okay. We're calling on the energy of cancer and their divine partner in separation. What does their divine partner think about them in separation? What does Cancer's divine partner think about them during this time of separation? We're calling on the energy of Cancer in separation from their divine partner. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the garden and the gate. Seems like a lot of people like this garden. Well, the universe likes this garden and the gate. And let's pull another card for Cancer's divine partner in separation. Can we get one more card for Cancer's part divine partner in separation? Their thoughts towards Cancer in separation. And we have financial constraints. So cancer seems like the universe wants you to be daring and go outside the box because it seems like you think that you have everything made. Seems like you think that your whole life is picture perfect within the, the, uh, the comfort zone of your fence because your fence is what's protecting you. But the universe is telling you to be bold and be courageous and step outside of your comfort zone and see what is out there waiting for you. And we're gonna clarify that one. And then you also have your partner uh, in separation has financial constraints. So Cancer, your partner could be, um, your partner could be experiencing some type of financial difficulties at this time, or they could be looking upon you as if you're having financial constraints at this time. But we're asking the universe about your divine partner in separation at this time, where they thoughts toward you. So maybe they think that you're 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 uh, you're having some type of financial constraints, or you're being difficult with your money. But at any rate, let's clarify it, okay? So let's clarify this garden and the gate for the zodiac sign of Cancer's divine partner in separation. The garden and the gate. Yeah, it's beautiful outside. It's cold. The sun's shining to fool you, but it is beautiful. That sun. I tell you, that sun is amazing. Okay, we have two of cups. Okay. So some type of soulmate connection here. Some type of twin flame connection here. Uh, it seems like the universe, uh, your partner feels this way towards you, Cancer. And the magician, so maybe they're wanting to uh, to manifest a new beginning with you. But the only way you can have your new beginning is stepping out of side of your comfort zone, so that you can uh, uh, explore uncharted territory here. So let's clarify this two of cups for or uh, for Cancer's divine partner in separation. Let's clarify uh, two of cups here. Clarify two of cups. It is clarified by the King of Cups. So, uh, Cancer, happy fitting. You showing all up in your reading. I heard that because you got the King of Cups, you got the Two of Cups. So it seems like you're really your person really has strong emotions for you. This is indeed not only is it a, 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 a spiritual twin flame soulmate connection here, but there's a lot of love that you feel or that this person feels towards you. Let me get one more card to clarify the Two of Cups for Cancer's divine partner in separation. 
six of cups. So it could be uh, they're reminiscent of things. It could be someone from your past. Uh, you could be uh, you could be not together at the time, Cancer, because this six of cups represents uh, either your childhood, some type of children, or uh, uh, um, feeling nostalgia, reminiscing things of the past, or actually someone coming in from your past. So maybe someone from your past, Cancer, wants to come in and wants to explore a new beginning with you. They want to have this this uh, emotional connection with you. Where they have this emotion. They, so you have two. You have two of cups. And you have the six of cups. So you have two soulmate twin flame connections here, uh, Cancer. Your partner does. So whoever you're dealing with in separation, remember this is separate in separation. Uh, someone wants to come back from your past. That's what it is. I forgot. We're asking for in separation. Uh, someone wants to come back who's really in love with you, Cancer. So let's clarify the magician for the zodiac sign of Cancer's uh, divine partner in separation. Clarify the magician. You have the five of swords. Ooh. And you have the nine of cups. So is it that you're trying to met is it that this person from your past that's trying to come in and establish this emotional uh, connection or rekindle this emotional connection is trying to manifest and manipulate it or is really grimy on how they get this? Because you have the nine of cups with this. It's their wish fulfilled. But you're the magician. So the magician can be the magician where he used elements of the earth. Or he can just manipulate things in such a harsh way. And maybe this person wants you at all costs, uh, Cancer. You hear me? Because it's their wish fulfilled. Regardless, of, it's like they don't give a damn how they get your ass as long as they get you. You hear me? So they're willing to do something strange for a little change in order to get cancer back in their life. You see me? Because they got a lot of, it, the, the source represents a uh, uh, one up and uh, backbiting and, and uh, all types of conflict. And either this is mental conflict or this is physical conflict. And I think that this is physical conflict because you have the magician card. So I think you're trying to manipulate some situation into your favor because you want it just that bad because it is your wish fulfilled. So moving right along to your financial constraints. Remember, this is your partner's energy. We're pulling on your divine partner cancer in separation. Clarify financial constraints. We have the ace of swords. So it could be some type of uh, truth here, clarity, a uh, new beginning. Clarify financial constraints. Knight of Wands. So something, some type of financial constraints because you got the truth about, you got the truth about this, this passion, about this person who was in and out, this person who exuded or showed you playboy energy here, or you got the truth of clarity, or did starting a brand new beginning it could be a new beginning. It could be a child, too. So did you cut out? Okay, well maybe you had to cut out this playboy energy or this playboy or playgirl energy here because it was causing you financial constraints. Maybe that's what your partner is having to do because you remember your partner is coming in from your past. This is someone from your past, but they are a soulmate of yours. So it seems like what was causing you some type of financial constraints or your partner financial constraints was because they needed to cut out some type of um, passionate, in and out, immature, playboy uh, energy. Clarify the Ace of Swords here. You got the Queen of Pentacles. Can we get another card for Ace of Swords? And you got the Lovers. Okay, so I have somebody else in the pics. Okay, so you got the two of cups over here from someone who wants to come back from your past, but then you had to cut out. You had to cut out someone because it was causing you financial constraints, cancer. Your partner had to cut out someone, and it was someone that they chose to be with. Because the Queen of Pentacles, she she's about the, the nurturing and the building of the home and things like that, but and we have the lover's card right next to her, but you have the ace of swords and this knight of wands. So it's like 
what was causing you financial constraints, uh, cancer or your, your divine partner, which is the reason why you guys probably was in separation was because they had to end something. They had to end something with a lover that they had chose that was just in and out of their life and probably taking it for everything they had, was taking advantage of them, was only out for the passion and the good time, but they wasn't in it for the longevity of the relationship. And it caused some type of financial constraints. And in return, you had to end something with your soulmate, but your soulmate wants to come back. Although this is the same, okay, this is the same person. This is the same person. Your soulmate wants to come back. And the reason why your soulmate wants to come back is because they ended, they had to cut out something that was affecting them. So the reason why you guys probably is in separation now was because they was involved with someone else, but they have ended it, Cancer. And now they want to come back and they want to heal this. So um, this is for you, Cancer. I hope this is resonating with y'all. Now we're moving right on to conclude the uh, water signs and we're going to end it with Pisces. So let's pull some energy for Pisces. Calling on the energy of Pisces, divine partner in separation. Calling on the energy of Pisces, divine partner in separation. What are their thoughts? What are they going through? What do you need us to be aware of? Universal energy of light and love. Calling on the energy of Pisces, divine partner in separation. to get a romance angel card too okay at the bottom of the deck pisces we have action someone wants to take action i don't know if it's you or your divine partner in separation but we're gonna see um why i feel compelled to take this card because it says angel of love and it's looking so pretty so we're going to take these two cards as your overall energy. Seems like someone in separation, your divine partner, Pisces, want to take action uh, towards some type of love here. But we're going to find out here. So we know action is moving. Action happens to be the um, air signs, uh, Libra, Gemini, uh, Aquarius. They are the action-oriented uh, elements. So let's clarify action for Pisces, divine partner in separation. Clarify action. You have the nine of pentacles. So you're taking action. And you have the devil. Whoa. Okay, so someone wants to take action towards this person that's single. So it seems like, but it's a devil energy here. This is devil. It could be that they're obsessed over you. Uh, Pisces could be that your divine per person is obsessing over you and your uh, independence here and they want to hurry up and, and get it popping. You hear me? But, they, you know, so let's clarify. Let's clarify, clarify this. Uh -oh. This nine of pentacles. Clarify the nine of pentacles. We got the Hierophant. So someone wants to seem like someone wants to is so obsessed with you. Either they want to either uh because the nine of pentacles is is nine of pentacles is single and, and uh independent. The hierophant here is some type of higher learning or some type of commitment. So maybe they're obsessed on hurry up trying to hurry up and start this commitment real fast. Six of Cups, and it's someone from your past, Pisces. So you must be in, where well, you're in, I don't know why I keep saying that this is in separation, duh. And remember, the retrograde is in full effect now, so you're going to always have people come in from your past. They're going to start thinking, well, you know what, Pisces really wasn't just so bad after all. Maybe I need to look at myself. Maybe I need to self-reflect. So this person coming in from your past is obsessing over you, Pisces. They want to be commit. They want a commitment with you, honey. Yes, they do, because they find you so attractive. They're obsessed with you. They miss you. They want to do something to you, honey. Let's clarify the devil here. Why is the devil here? Because you got this ace of swords. Because you're no nonsense and you, and you, um, wait a minute. Why is the devil here? Ooh. Because you want to, 
You got the you got the Queen of Swords and you got the High Priestess. We know the High Priestess is very intuitive, very psychic, but she don't say shit. She just knows shit, but just keep it to herself and do her shit behind closed doors type of shit. And that's very befitting of you, Water Sign. So, and you got the Queen of Swords. You know the Queen Queen of Swords is no nonsense type of bitch. She ain't taking shit. She ain't taking nothing. You know she's harsh because. She's a queen. She'll hear you out to hearing you, but she will cut your ass out. So it's like the devil is so upset. It's like the devil is here because he secretly, he's not saying it, but he secretly is obsessed with you. And he don't want nobody else to have you. Let me clarify this queen of swords. Clarify this queen of swords. Okay, you got the chariot. So he wants to move forward. So it's like he want to cut out everything that's not, he want to, he, he's so obsessed with you. Your, your uh, divine partner in uh, separation is so obsessed with you that they're willing to move and cut and, and, and let go of everything else just to hurry up and get this on. You got two action cards right here. So they're trying to, that's why they're so obsessed over you because they got the chariot card and they got the action card, Pisces. And they want to hurry up and get it done to the point where it's it's kind of, it's weird, it's obsessive. It, and, they're, and they're from your past. So if they're from your past, they've been thinking about you the whole goddamn time. And whatever happened that, that made this thing separate, we know it was, their, it was all their fault, obviously. So... They're obsessing pretty bad for you because they want to hurry up and rush you into this. I don't know if that's a good thing. Only you know, Pisces. But let's clarify this angel of love. Well, you do have angel of love. So that's that's coming from the divine love right there. That's not the fleshly love. That's that um, uh, spiritual, eternal love. Let's clarify the angel of love for Pisces' divine partner in separation. We have the Ten of Cups. I heard that you want it all, don't you? Ten of Cups is a uh, total fulfillment that means that you got the, the, the um it's what they call the apex card when everything is good you have total emotional fulfillment here you got the house everything is good within the home because there's emotion there and when you have love and emotion there you can conquer a lot of mountains together you hear me what they say a family that prays together stays together this is the ten of cups right here that family that prays and uh meditates together you hear me can we get another card for angel of love for pisces divine partner in separation page of cups so you want to someone wants to bring you um someone wants to come in and apologize they want to apologize for uh whatever they did to you in the past pisces uh because overall you are their wish fulfilled you're someone who they obsess over they have to have you clarify ten of cups is we got the three of swords because they broke your heart in the past pisces that's why it ended and they want to rebuild with you. Clarify the page of cups. This good news that they want to tell you. What is this good news that they want to, you want to tell Pisces? You want to tell them that you took a break. You you uh you recovering from you're recovering from this heartbreak here because it caused you some emotional damage too. So it seems like the person is coming in uh that that your divine partner in separation at this time Pisces is thinking about you strongly. They miss you, they love you, they want to heal this relationship and they will be coming back sometime or another. So this has been your reading for uh Scorpio, Pisces and Cancers. Uh, love reading uh, for their divine in separation and their thoughts towards them. And if this video resonates with you, please subscribe, like, and share my video. And coming up next is going to be all the fire signs uh, with their divines in separation. So please stay tuned for the other video. Thank you, and I'll talk to you another time. Bye.